Hello, this is Stephanie Pepper with eManage One. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a new terms and conditions to use with an eManage on your quote. So if you want to either edit your existing terms of condition and conditions or create a new one. So I'm going to be using an existing um, set of terms and conditions for a customer and basically reworking it. So if you do not have a, um, an existing set, you're gonna be working from the base report of TNC. So what I mean by that is um, you're gonna open up Telerik. So within eManage, you can go to Tools, Custom Reports, Open, Telerik Report Designer. And that will open up the Telerik Report Designer. From there, you can just go File, Open, I'm going to navigate to my computer and then my reports. So if you're not sure how to get to the reports, it is hosted within your eManage One folder. So it is on your C drive. Um, so you can just hit that uh, percent app data percent in your file path up here. It'll take you straight to this uh, location. And then you can double click on reports. And this is where all the reports are held. So if you, again, if you're just starting from a uh, brand new, if you're just setting up a brand new terms and conditions, you could just hit T on your keyboard and you can start from this template. Otherwise, I'm going to start with an existing. So I'm gonna grab this B-I-I-T-N-C. It will open up the existing report. And then you can basically just rewrite it. I am going to be pulling some data from Word. Um, I tend to have some issues with formatting the way I want it to in Telerik. Um, so copying and pasting from Word is a bit tricky. Uh, so what I typically like to do is just copy and paste it into um, a notepad and then copy and paste from there into here. So I'm just opening up my report here. And I'm going to grab all of this. I don't need the signature because the signature is already on the existing report. So I'm just grabbing all of the terms. I'm going to control C. That lets me do it without enabling the editing. Open up a notepad and paste it right in there so that I can easily just copy paste, copy paste. So I'm gonna do a little split screen here. And so I'm just gonna be uh, replacing some of these terms. So I'm just gonna copy all of this. Actually, I'm gonna cut it so I know that I did it. And then I'm just gonna paste it right in here. So I'm just double clicking right within here. And then I can just take what I want out. So I'm just gonna paste right on top of that. If you need to move stuff around, so as you can see, when I just click down here, it is kind of cutting off some words here. So if you just place your cursor right in between these two uh, rows here, you can move it down and get everything that you need to be shown there. So it's just a copy paste. I'm gonna take this. Cut that, double click, take out only what I need to take out, and paste. If it puts it as a bold, you can just highlight all of that. And just unclick bold, keep that bold there. So I'm just gonna do this for the remaining parts of uh, this report. I'm gonna pause the recording and then I'll come back and show you guys how to put it back into eManage so that you can use it within eManage. One thing I'd like to go ahead and note here is if you'd like to delete an entire section, you can just right click and delete rows. So if you're just deleting an entire row, just right click delete. You can always undo if anything goes wrong, just undo. One other thing I'd like to go ahead and note um, while working this report, uh, adding a section is very easy. You're just gonna right click where you want to add it. So right click 
insert row and below. And then what you're gonna do here is insert a text. So I'm just gonna say insert on the tab up here, HTML text box, and that will make it editable um, with text. So if I wanted to make part of it bold and part of it not bold, so for example, I'm going to type in installation here and period, and I want this portion of the wording to be bold. Just go back to my home tab, bold, space, and then I'm just gonna paste it there. But I do not want this part bold, so highlight, unbold. Make this section a little bit larger so you can see all the wording there. And voila, we are done. So at the very end, when you're completely done, um, I'm just gonna make this screen large again. I like to uh, shorten my page up so that it's not uh, too much empty space when you actually upload this report. So I'm just grabbing the entire thing by clicking in this blank space and just dragging up. And I always put it right below the last line. That way if I needed to come back here and edit it, it won't be too hard to grab this back down and pu pull it back down to make it a larger um, area to work with. So here is my uh, terms and conditions all set up. So I do not wanna save again because I don't wanna save over the existing. So what you're gonna wanna do is go file save as, and you could do this at the beginning if it's something that you think that you might forget. Um, a lot of times the first thing that you can do is just go file save as and then work within that report. We're always going to save it back into that reports directory. So I'm just gonna hit the reports tab and I'm gonna give it a different name. Um, for this particular customer, it is going to be for a specific client, so Blue Cross of Idaho. So what I'm gonna do is put BII and TNC, and I'm just gonna say Blue Cross of Idaho. Okay, I'm just gonna save into my reports directory. Now back in eManage, you just need to go into any project, any, anything that already has an existing quote in there. So I'm just gonna go to my today, active quotes to pull something up that I can work with here. All right, so I'm just gonna do it within this one. So I'm just gonna right click on my quote and go modules straight to the bill of materials. If I double clicked on that, it would just open up the project. So this is a tiny little shortcut. Apologize for the speed today. I promise it's not the software, it's definitely my internet. So I'm gonna flip over to the quotes tab and just double click on my quote to get to all those different quote options that you have. And I'm basically just gonna upload it into your database. That way everyone else will have access to uh, use this term, set of terms and conditions. So here under T and C, I'm just gonna hit new. So here's my standard, it's already set up in there. So I'm just gonna um, give it a new name here. So I'm gonna say Blue Cross of Idaho T terms and conditions. Okay. And then I'm gonna browse for it. So same spot where I saved it, it's gonna be in your reports directory. Shortcut to get to that, if it doesn't take you directly there like it did when I was in my Teller Report Designer, you can just click right up here and just say percent app data, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, percent sign again and enter. And it'll take me straight to my eManage one folder. Then I can go into reports and go find B-I-I, -I. there, so double click. I'm just gonna give it the same exact description as my name there. And save. So now what will happen is anyone who wants to have access to this report, all they have to do is go to tools, custom reports, download custom reports to my computer. By doing that, now anyone can come over here, hit the drop down, choose Blue Cross of Idaho, save and print, you want to set the expiration date 30 days from now? No, I do not. Don't really mess with anything that's already in here. Run report. And 
And at the bottom of your quote, you will now see your new terms and conditions. So I like to upload it in there, see what it looks like. And then if I need to make any changes, I still have it open. Any formatting issues that I see, you know, I can make those changes and I will show you how to go back and re-upload it. So there it is, terms and conditions. Might be able to get rid of some spacing here um, to get this all on one page, but probably not a problem. So what, I, what you could do is you make those changes, do whatever you need to do, hit the save button again. And then if you go back into eManage and double click on that quote again, you would have to hit the new view again. It would take those changes automatically when you're just printing and viewing on your own computer. But for everyone else to see those new changes, you would have to hit new view, highlight the one that you made changes to, and just hit upload changes. That's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a shout. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was uh, helpful for you. Have a good one.